Hello and welcome to the AQA GCSE Biology Cell Structure Revision video. This uh, revision video will go over the specification for 4.1.1. Here is an animal cell. Um, most animal cells have the following um, parts. They have a cell membrane that is a thin layer that controls what goes in and out of the cells. Um, it's got no strength, it's more like a layer of oil around the cell. Most animal cells have a nucleus which contains the DNA and it controls the activity of the cells. The cytoplasm, this is a uh, fluid where most of the reactions take place in the cell. The ribosomes, this is probably new to for you in GCSE, and this shows where proteins are synthesized. Synthesized means to build or to produce. And finally, the mitochondria. This is where most of the energy is released in the process of respiration. This diagram shows a plant cell. Um, with a plant cell, there are um, three differences that you need to be aware of. First of all, uh, they have a permanent vacuole, okay, which contains cell sap. They have chloroplasts, and that is the site of photosynthesis um, in the plant cell. And lastly, uh, is the cell wall. And the cell wall gives the cell, uh, strengthens the cell, and it is actually made of a substance called cellulose. Algal cells also contain a cell wall. These are the three main differences between plant cells and animal cells. Here we see a diagram of a bacterial cell. Uh, bacterial cells are much smaller than uh, plant or animal cells. Um, they have a cytoplasm and cell membrane um, surrounded by a cell wall. The genetic material, as you can see, is not enclosed in a nucleus. It is a single DNA loop and there may be one or more small rings of DNA called plasmids. That's plasmid DNA. These cells uh, can be further grouped. For example, uh, bacteria are known as prokaryotes, whereas animal, plant and algal cells are known as eukaryotes. It's important in the exam that you know the differences between them and the similarities between both. Pro, prokaryotes, well pro means no and karyot is nucleus, so no nucleus. Um, and as you can see they are smaller, they lack a nucleus and they contain plasmids and these are made of DNA. Whereas eukaryotes, uh, they are larger uh, plant cells are larger than animal cells. Um, they have a nucleus, they have a, what we call a true nucleus, which contains DNA and multiple chromosomes. Both structures have DNA. They both have ribosomes uh, to, pro uh, to synthesize proteins. They both have cytoplasm and they both have a cell membrane. Bacteria do have a cell wall. Um, and so do plant, uh, plant cells, but it's a different type of cell wall. Okay, here is a, an exam question for you to look at. Okay, so this question says that living organisms are made of cells, and it says animal and plant cells have several different parts, and they have different functions. Function means what is their job, so what do they do? Okay, it says draw one line, from each cell part to the correct function. So from here to here, and only one line for each, okay? So this is a straightforward uh, recall question. So cell membrane, it controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell. Mitochondria, they are, um, their function is where most energy is released in respiration. Then the final one, nucleus, and it controls the activity of the cells. Think about where proteins are made. If it did ask that, it would be ribosomes. Final question is, tells you that um, it's a, a cell from a plant leaf, so it's a plant cell, and it asks which two parts are not found in an animal cell. 
something you need to notice to look at them. Well, cytoplasm is in an animal cell, so it's not that one. Animal cell, cell membrane. Cell wall is only in a plant cell. Nucleus is both in animal and plant cell. And chloroplast. So the answers must be cell wall and chloroplast. This second question, it shows a uh, cell from a plant leaf, okay, so it's a, it's a plant cell. It says, name the part of this cell that controls the passage of substances in and out of the cell. Well, we know that to be the cell membrane, okay, and then the second one is filled with cell sap. Well, that will be a vacuole. And then the next question, it says, give the names of two parts of the leaf cell that would not be found in a human leaf cell. Notice that they are in bold, okay, so that, that, that's for a reason, okay, so they only want the two parts that are not found, and they say in a human liver cell. Well, a human liver cell is an animal cell, so the two answers are going to be related to things that you would find in um, only a plant cell. In that case, it would be the cell wall and the chloroplast. You could also have for the answer um, the vacuole as well, because that is only found in a plant cell and it wouldn't be found in a human liver cell. I hope you found the video useful about uh, cell structure. Uh, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? Uh, and there will be more uh, revision videos coming soon. I hope you found it useful.